This video is made for adult collectors because oh my god, Microsoft Edge, I don't want to use you. So this has no bicep swivel, and I will talk about that later. Now Epic Games is opening in front of my face. I was curious as to why there was no bicep swivel. I formed my own theories about why it's missing, but I decided to ask the man who made the toy, Sam. Now, Sam is a, a busy dude because, like, he runs Studio Series, so he hasn't responded yet, and I don't want to annoy him by t asking him more and more, so I'll post an answer somewhere whenever I get it. Anyways, Shockwave. This figure, bicep and all, is actually great. First off, he looks fantastic. I love all the intricate details and the battle damage. It's sparring, but also apparent at the same time. It's not like the siege battle damage where it's really in your face and looks printed on. This actually looks nice. I personally like this shade of purple over the cores. It's a more rich purple and the grays aren't as dull. On the Voyager, it's more of a gunmetal color and it works a lot nicer to me, especially with that purple. I like how the inner skeleton is pretty much just Optimus. And you can very much tell on this toy, like all the other ones, they share the same feet, inner knees, hands, etc. But none of the parts are shared from the Prime toys. You know, Shockwave is just Optimus Prime with extra bits on him. He even has the Autobot symbol on his arm from the CG model. Because again, it's built off Prime. That is such a funny reference. I love it. The clear purple is nice on the chest and it's an insert. So you don't have to worry about the chest breaking down. I just love staring at the intricate details on this guy. He's greebled super well and I don't get bored looking at it. I'm also a huge fan of the Prime Shockwave intakes on his back. Speaking of the back, I love how they painted a bit of it. I wasn't expecting that. And it doesn't slouch on the details here either. There's still loads of stuff to look at, including Optimus Prime's spine. The toy feels good too. Like it's super solid to hold and to mess with. I have no loose joints and no bits that want to come off. Everything feels very well built and functional. And he's tall, coming in at like leader concept Megatron's height and being taller than Prime and Soundwave, that's sick for a $35 price point, honestly. And I really like the more flat Shockwave head. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but I like it. Kind of gives it more of a futuristic, angry vibe to me. I dig it. And he has light piping, which doesn't work the greatest. Now, the bicep. He doesn't have bicep swivels. Pain. So I was a bit disappointed that he didn't have any. I've gotten over it mostly, but it is still a bummer. I, again, I did ask Sam, but Sam's very busy. He's probably way too deep in designing cool toys to respond to little old me, so I'm not gonna bug him more. But I think it's because of the port on his arm. It's placed here because that's where it needs to be to keep the arm stable in alt mode. And that's also where the bicep swivel should be because like there's armor up there, so I don't really see a way it could fit above that. That might be why it's not there. Stability in alt mode. Could there have been a better way to do this? Probably. Do I know what better way that is? No. He does have two thigh swivels though, which I don't get either, but eh. However, just because he doesn't have a bicep swivel doesn't mean he can't pose. So Shockwave's other posability, minus the biceps, is great. It, well, kind of, I, I wish the head could look up. That's as far as it can go up and down. I really wish it could look up a little bit further. Can't tilt, but it can do a full 360. Aha, also these are a softer material, but they're not rubber. Like they're just, I believe these are like a more flexible palm or something, so they won't snap. Shoulders can rotate a full 360, and this one with the hose can pretty much do a full 360, but like, why would you want it to? Uh, they can go out on a soft ratchet. You probably can't hear it, but there's a soft ratchet. You have your elbow bend, no bicep swivel. 
Uh, you have lower forearm or upper forearm swivel and wrist rotation just because the wrists are on ball joints. He does have a waist joint as well, which can do a full 360 degrees of rotation. I scratched myself, apparently. The legs can go forward that far. They can go back that far. They can go in and out. You have upper thigh rotation and lower thigh rotation, and this serves absolutely no purpose. I don't understand why. I would have been okay with the lower thigh rotation because the upper one's cool and all, but like when you rotate it this way, it does limit the legs going up a little bit, but you have to like get it around to move it up a bit more. It's a bit strange, but either way, he has thigh rotation. 90 degree bend at the knee and the ankles can go down, up, and they can pivot a little bit. I do wish the pivot was a little bit greater than this, but it's not terrible, and he's very stable. Also, this hose is made of a, a soft, uh, rubbery plastic. I don't think it's rubber. I think it's like that PVC stuff, but yeah, it can pretty much do whatever you want. And this side, as you saw in one of the shots, does have a hand in it. So, but yeah, he's still pretty poseable for what you're getting. You're just, you know, you're missing that cut, but you can kind of make do without it. I've seen some people do this with the arms. I guess you could kind of do that. I still think that looks weird. Um, and I, again, I do wish it still had the bicep cut, but you know, without it, it works. So yeah, I still really like the robot mode. I do dig how solid and sturdy it feels. Now let's make it prime shockwave. So shockwave transformation is just this or, you know, prime, but there's a couple of little things that they chucked into here that make it slightly different and more intricate than this to where I like it. And the cool part is on the core, you have to take the cannon off and put it aside and then put it on. And I know for some people, they don't like parts forming. On this guy, you still have to take the cannon off, but leave it attached by the hose. So it's not parts forming, because it's still attached. So you can use that as an excuse. Anyways, you fold the hands in, like so, and you rotate it at the forearm swivel and bend it all the way back till it clicks. You do that on both sides, like that. And then I'm gonna take the arms and they peg into the side, using the, the ports that are in where the bicep swivel should be, peg it in like so. Then you want to pull this out like this. And then we're going to do core class stuff. So you shift the hips up. This is rubbing against the table, it's annoying me. Now you take these treads and you pull them, rotate them out to reveal the, the well, treads. You do that and then you fold the feet up like so. And then this chest plate will fold down all the way and it will bring up this port. Now you wanna peg the legs into the chest section and take this section and fold it up underneath and sort of like flatten everything out. Then you take this top section here, rotate it up, and then his head will shift inward like that. Then you wanna take the cannon, you flip out the peg, you flip up the nozzle, and then you peg it in, peg, peg it in, and boom. There you have Shockwave in his tank mode. And that's, you know, the core, it's pretty simple, but it's really solid when it's all said and done, and it's very fun to do. Like, flipping this back and forth is really nice. And because it's just Shockwave flattening out, he becomes huge in alt mode. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. It may not look solid because of all the limbs just hanging out there, but it is as solid as Armada Megatron's tank, which is a dense-ass thing. And it's also a big tank, like a big tank. Here it is next to a Voyager from 2010 to 2011. That's nice. It's legit, just the core, which is legit, just prime chocolate. But I'm okay with that. There really aren't any new details exposed and the hose can be removed if you don't want it there, but I, I like it, so it stays. And it rolls super nice for being on friction wheels. I think it's because they're tiny wheels and he's so wide and low to the ground that he rolls nicer. The turret can rotate and go up and down, but it's a bit stiff, so I advise rotating it up and down by the back. It's also weirdly blast effect compatible, only some of them like to work for some reason. It's just a nice solid tank and it's a nice solid toy. I know the biceps are turn off for some and I completely get it, but it doesn't really limit it as much as you would think because Shockwave isn't known for being super dynamic anyways. So you can still get him into some brute poses without being super hampered by the lack of a bicep swivel. I do recommend it. It's big, it's dense, and it's the size of some liters for the price of a Voyager. I think it's a pretty good deal for what you're getting, especially considering this thing is as big or bigger than a lot of old movie Voyagers in both modes. It, it feels like a slightly older movie toy, which I very, very much like. But that's my look at Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Shockwave. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye